For every church that's caught in scandal, there's a thousand plus other churches doing significant work. And every now and then, one church sticks out in a good way among the rest. Virginia Mega Church gives $1 million to rescue children in Ghana. In this video, I wanna share with you all the details about what this church has done, and I hope it encourages you in your walk with God and in your service to your local church. And by the way, if you're new here, my name is Brandon, this is Preach and Lead. This is a channel where I help pastors preach memorable, faithful sermons and lead the church intentionally. And if you are a pastor, I've got a free gift for you as my way of saying thanks for being on this video. If you go to preachandlead.com slash roadmap, you can get your free intentional pastor's roadmap because the reality is doing something this amazing requires intentional leadership. And the truth is many churches are plateaued or declining, but it takes leaders to step up and lead intentionally to see the church grow and be healthy. So go to preachandlead.com slash roadmap if you want to lead your church more intentionally. All right, let's look at the details of what happened with this Virginia megachurch giving a, a million dollars to rescue children in Ghana. This comes from the Roy's Report. Shout out to uh, the Roy's Report for covering things like this. This is what the story says. A Baptist missions organization has received a $1 million donation from a Virginia megachurch boosting its efforts to help girls in Africa. Lot Carey, a predominantly black organization long known as the Lot Carey Baptist Foreign Mission Society, has traditionally had fundraisers as part of its annual gathering, which occurred this past week in Memphis, Tennessee. The Reverend Gina Stewart, Lot Carey president, had announced beforehand she hoped to raise $1 million on the last night of the convention. That was her goal. But Alfred Street Baptist Church, a historic black church in Alexandria, Virginia, decided to raise money ahead of that occasion. Its pastor, the Reverend Howard John Wesley, told media, he, told media he learned during a church trip to Ghana arranged by the Reverend Emmett Dunn, Lot Carey's executive secretary treasurer, about the plight of girls caught up in the Trocosi tradition in that country. Girls are turned over to priests at religious shrines for forced labor and ritual sexual servitude as payment for the sins of their relatives. This is wild stuff happening in Ghana. Although Ghana criminalized forced labor in 1998, Trocosi priests have continued to practice their servitude system unchallenged by law enforcement, according to child rights experts. It's wild, right? Uh, he said, and I quote, it was our trip to Ghana that exposed us to the slave trade industry that you wouldn't believe still existed in 2024. We really felt like God gave us an opportunity to make a difference in freeing some of these young ladies. The money will be used to support the ministry of the Ghana Baptist Convention, one of the largest denominations in Ghana, to rescue young girls whose families have sold them into the long-established system opposed by the United Nations Committee on the Rights of the Child. The ministry works to rehabilitate the girls, teaching them at a vocational training center that aims to give them skills to allow them to reintegrate into society. Stewart, the senior pastor of Christ Missionary Baptist Church in Memphis, said she too learned about the Tr Trocosi's mistreatment of the girls during a trip to Africa. My journey to Liberia and Ghana with Lot Carey in 2022 was life-changing, Stewart said in the statement. Shortly thereafter, Reverend Dunn led a trip to Ghana with 100 Alfred Street members, and they too were blessed by the, by the beauty of Ghana and shaken by the horrors of the dehumanizing indentured servitude known as the Trocosi tradition and vowed to make a difference. The $1 million donation is rare for Lot Carey, which is an operational budget of $2.5 million. It received an equal sum from Fountain ba Baptist Church in Summit, New Jersey, for relief efforts related to Hurricane Katrina. This is amazing, right? Like almost half their operating budget was given in one donation. That, that changes things seriously for an organization, right? The donation sum is also not the first for Alf Alfred Street, which gave $1 million to the National Museum of African American History and Culture in 2015 and donated the same amount to Jackson State University, a historically black institution in Mississippi, to help students and officials as they dealt with the crisis in 2022 after high levels of lead were found in its water. About 950 people attended the Lot Carey meeting, including about 20 people from the Virginia church whose trips to the Memphis gathering were subsidized by the church. Alfred Street has about 2,000 people in attendance in person on Sundays and some 20,000 who watch online each week. 
Wesley said his church raised the money through a 40-day fast in 2023 when members and supporters were asked to set aside daily devotional time and give up favorite foods, drinks, and habits and use the money they would have spent on them for a donation. That's, that's, that's amazing. For me, it was all wine, all caffeine, it was all sugar, all fried products, he said, and all spending from Amazon. In all, Wesley said about uh, about 14,000 people participated and some fasters gave more than the amount equivalent to their change in spending habits. They actually gave about 870,000 and the church leadership said that's too close to a million to not raise a million. So the church used its Tithe the Tithe initiative, which gives 10% of weekly donations it receives to help community groups. Lot Carey, named for a former slave to gain his freedom and was a pioneer missionary in Africa, was founded in 1897. The infusion of money to support the girls in Africa comes as Stewart concludes her historic leadership of the organization. In 2021, she became its first woman president, marking the first time a black Baptist organization had chosen a female leader. A former Lot Carey vice president, she is expected to be succeeded on Friday by the Reverend Jesse T. Williams Jr., the current first vice president and senior pastor of Covenant Avenue Baptist Church in Harlem, New York. Isn't it so good to see... Christ followers doing some good Christ following things and use their resources for good. Man, I I just love that. What could you and your church accomplish if you just had a burden and were willing to follow through with that conviction that something needed to be done, right? In the name of Jesus, something needs to be done and we can do something. We can do something. If you want to learn more about Lot Carry, you can go to lotcarry.org. This is the website and you can learn more about all the things that they do. And I'm curious, what's something in your heart that breaks your heart, that that motivates you to do something? Let me know in the comments below what that is. And maybe we can kind of crowdsource some solutions on like organizations that are fighting against that kind of problem in society, that we as Christ followers can be a part of the solution. After all, we're called to be the salt of the earth, the light of the world, right? That's what Jesus says we are. And if you want to see some more good happening in the church, then go ahead and check out this video. The way this pastor handles this kind of awkward situation, it might even bring you to tears and move you to do something like this young man in this video did. Well, anyway, you'll just have to watch it. It's, it's really good. Check it out.